Good afternoon, everybody. What is going on? I am Jeff Brand Media, and today's unboxing and first impressions video, we've got a small package from Iron and Resin. Now, Iron and Resin was one of the companies that started my heritage journey with my first wax jacket purchase um, probably a year or more or so ago. And along the lines of uh, purchasing from Iron and Resin, I accumulated um, points, their uh, miles points. But at the end of this month, my points are about to expire. So I had to use them or lose them. So what is inside this box? I purchased with my own $8 in shipping because uh, I got the uh, the hat, you can see from the thumbnail and the title. I bought the hat with my points and uh, I had to pay the shipping on it. So. I'm not affiliated with Iron and Resin, um, but um, what is inside this box was kind of a cumulative effort between me purchasing and reviewing stuff on their site, points that I've earned um, for doing so. And they actually kicked me back a couple of points for the YouTube videos as well. Um, because I, they give you X amount of points when you do video reviews or photo reviews or verbal reviews on the website. And I did some of those, but some of my reviews weren't posting. So they actually kind of credited me a couple of extra points because I did the YouTube videos. So that's kind of a, a culmination of how I got what's inside this box by only spending $8 on shipping. But enough of that. Let's crack this hat on open and check it out. I like that they always include a postcard and they personalize it just a little bit by putting my name and the Packers name on the inside of it and it's perforated so I can I can actually cut this off and use this as an actual postcard and then in here we have my hat, my custom hat with a K we have it. I like this hat. I like, I've been eyeballing this for actually some time. I like, uh, you know, it's got the standard iron and resin logo on it there. Um, it is a snap back, which I much prefer. I don't, I will wear some of my hats have the strap on the back, but I do always prefer a snap back hat as opposed to a strap back hat. Um, some of them are nice. Some, the, depending upon what the style of hat is, it works, but generally my hats, I much prefer snap back. So I like the overall look of this. Now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's Sunday, so don't mind the mop, because it's Sunday and it's like grocery getter day, so the hair is a bit crazy. Okay, I'm not big on flat brims, so I will probably bend the brim. I will definitely bend the brim of this hat a little bit. I'm not a big flat brim guy. I really only rock like one hat flat brimmed um, because it does have a, a little natural arc in it, but. There we go. I'm checking myself out in the uh, the monitor. I like it, it's not bad, it's not, I was a little worried it was gonna be super high because I'm not a big fan of really, really high trucker hats, but it fits good. I mean, I'm wearing this Oxblood uh, 72 hour tee, so it doesn't really match my t-shirt, but I like the hat, I like the logo. It's fitting pretty good. Let's see if I have to crack it back one notch. I don't think so. It felt pretty good where I had it. Yeah, it's a little big. That feels feels a little big if I want to, you know, flip it backwards for any reason. It's not bad. I like it. It feels it feels good. It's not too tight. It's not too loose. So even if I rock it this way, it's uh, it's not it's not too loose. So I might maybe maybe we'll figure it out. We'll play around with it a little bit. It'll stretch a little bit. But I like it. I like the hat. It's looking pretty good. So what do you think? Do you like the uh, iron and resin custom hat? You think it's looking pretty good? I know because the lights are above me. I'm getting a big shadow on my face, but what do you think of the hat? I'm a. Uh... I like it. Again, I'm wearing this Oxblood t shirt, so it doesn't exactly match my tee, but I like the hat. It fits good. It feels good. It's a lot thinner of a material than I expected. Let's see, is it tell me what it's made out of? It's 100% nylon hat, so it's actually pretty thin so this might work out kind of well for some of the summer months when it's getting blazing hot outside it's pretty thin but it is nylon so we'll see we'll see how, how well it wears in the heat in the sun but there we go I don't need to have a mega bend on it but I'm not a big flat brim kind of guy but I'm, I'm digging it again I've been looking at this hat for a while I actually really really like a lot of the offerings from iron and resin um, just that uh, I've been I've been doing a lot of work with uh, a couple other brands that I haven't, uh, haven't had a chance to get back to Iron R for quite some time, but 
I'm hoping to change that. I like, again, I like a lot of their offerings. They got a lot of nice clothes. I like a lot of their flannels and stuff for heading into spring. So I'm not going to be wearing flannels for much longer, but maybe next fall we'll pick up a flannel or two and uh, we'll check some more INR stuff out because they do put out a killer product. I love my Scout, both of them. I had two Scouts. I had the first version that had the unlined sleeves. And then I also had the version two that had the water barrier sewn in between the two. It's fully fully lined body and sleeves and it had the water barrier sewn in between. So I've had the, both of the Scouts. I kind of want to try a Rambler, but they do have some corduroy Ramblers that are kind of nice. So maybe, uh, maybe next year though, because I'll be doing the uh, the Redline Rally in June, so I, I don't really want to get into another jacket until after I'm done doing the rally because I'm going to be wearing the same Brave Star jacket for an entire year. But once that's up, uh, those, uh, those Corduroy Ramblers are looking pretty sexy. And I'm not gonna lie, if you want a pretty good look at what they actually look like, go check out Patrick over at Rocky Mountain Style. He uh, he just checked out, I think, the black Corduroy Rambler, and it looks really good. I really wanted to buy one uh, because he made it look so good, but I know I have the rally coming up and I won't really be able to wear it too much. So I held back because I'll be wearing the same jacket for an entire year to get some fades and some wear on it. So next next, uh, next fall, definitely keep your eyes open for some more INR um, jackets, some more outerwear. But I think in the spring or in the, in the fall, I'm, I'm definitely gonna pick up a flannel or two. So we'll look at some of the INR INR flannel, iron and resin flannel offerings this fall because I'm really, I'm really digging this hat. Again, I really love my scouts. I had two of them. Great jackets, great products, top notch quality. Uh, they wore like iron, so I'm not worried about the quality in any way, shape, or form. So I'm looking forward to checking out some more INR gear in the fall once, uh, if we ever actually get to summer, once the summer's over, it may it may or may not get here. We get warm days, and then we get freezing days. It's the spring in northeastern Pennsylvania, so we're in uh, like our fifth winter now at this point. We've had a couple a couple of springs, a couple early springs in February. Now we're into March, and uh, we're we're back into winter. So eventually we'll get there. And after we get past and through that summer, we'll try some INR flannels. So with that, if you like this video or any of my other videos, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Smash that big red button and ring that bell right next to it so you get notifications next time I post a brand new video. Good night.